Hey guys, it's really late and I'm doing this video because YouTube has been just messing me up all day, so I'm hoping, hoping that it goes. Um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. I really love the little video response things that I see all the time, and so I wanted to throw a question out there. What are your top five dream witchy items. Basically, what are the five things that if money and rarity were not issues you would have them? I mean, because I know that there's things, I'm sure we all have things that are just way too expensive or just way too hard to find. But if you could absolutely have any five things that you don't already have, what would they be? My five um, my first one would be a crystal ball. I've always wanted a beautiful crystal ball, but I want one that's like big, like that big or so. I want a really large one. I want it to be crystal, not flat. I love all the little spheres, you know, semi-precious spheres you can get, but at um, a rock down the mineral show one time it was a quartz crystal ball. It was huge. And it was breathtaking. I really, really want to do it one day. Um, the second thing is a custom altar. I've used a lot of things as altars. I've most of the time my altar has been in a basket or a box, and I just pulled it out and set it up every time I need to do anything. And that doesn't really work for me anymore at this point. So I'm using a little space on my vanity right now. But I want something that's not my vanity. I want something that's a dedicated space. And um, I said something about getting an altar, and my husband said, oh, I have to build you one. So I'm really excited about that, because I need to kind of decide exactly what I want. But I've never really seen anything that hit me, so this is kind of perfect for sure. My third thing would be like a giant amethyst cluster. And I don't know if you've seen these. Mm. I, whenever I see one, I can't walk away from it. I just want to touch it, stand next to it, and they just have this amazing pull over me. And I've always wanted one. They're several thousand dollars. <laughs> They're just, yeah. My fourth thing uh, would be a, a cloak or a cape. I don't do rituals or anything in cloaks or capes generally, but uh, my favorite place to do rituals is outside at night. And it gets chilly the other time of year. It can be really cold. So, and also um, when I have a house, like right now in an apartment, but when I have a house, I usually will have uh, a moon garden. It's one of my favorite gardens to grow is a moon garden. And, uh, of course, you know, there's times where I want to go out at night and, and do something together or um, or whatever, and I'd like something just to kind of keep me warm, but that was still at least aesthetically pleasing and suited to the occasion, I guess. Um, and I, I know exactly what I want. If you've seen the movie Sleepy Hollow, there's a scene where she has this gorgeous silver velvet cloak on, and when she pulls her hood back, there's all these roses and boards on the inside. And I think the first time I saw that, I just fell right off the couch. I probably just seriously passed out. It was so amazing. And I want something like that, but I would I would want um, I like a deep purple velvet. And on the embroidery, I want um, the moon in all of her phases with some stars and uh, jasmine and moon flowers, like all in silvers and whites and grays of blue. Just kind of monochrome, but really pretty. And the fifth thing, the fifth thing that I want is a tattoo. And I'm drawing it myself. But it's only fine. I need to finish it. I need to find an artist. Which is hard because tattooing was illegal here for a really long time. I know that sounds weird. Tattooing was illegal here for a very long time. And so I want to find an artist that I really trust. Um, and most of them here aren't very established yet. I mean, they've been here for a couple of years. So I really want to find one I trust. 
and kind of work out how much it's going to be and everything, because I'm sure it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, and I really want that. That's, I mean, I'm hoping that at some point in my life all these things will happen. So I want to hear what your five are, whether it's a uh, whole room or a circle in your backyard, like Flora, or the perfect familiar. Um, whatever your five are, I want to hear them. Leave a comment, message me, video response, whatever. I just am really anxious to hear what you guys have to say. So I will talk to you later, and hopefully you take the next week's video up. So thank you. watching this. My dog is whining to go out and I'm just trying to kill time so that if it cuts off the end of my video you don't miss anything. So sorry. I don't know if it sounds really weird. I'm gonna take her out in about thirty seconds.